What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and that's Retro Bill Racing. That's Ty. Ty. We'll call him Ty. All right, so in today's video, just like the Tile States, we are going to lower the Rand Daytona with the DJM 3.5 drop kit. Uh, we've already kind of started. We had a fight our grease gun a little bit, got a little messy, uh, but we knocked out some of the smaller stuff, which I'm going to show you right now. All right, as you guys can see, this is the lower control arm from DJM. And when you get it, you've got to pull out the sleeves inside these poly bushings and grease them up. You can see the grease right there. Then you've got to put these fittings on, which are your grease fittings. But before you put those on, you need to use a little Teflon tape, which we did. And then we put a little more grease in there. And of course with the ball joints, they have grease too. And those fittings are 90 degrees, same thing, Teflon tape, put on the fitting and add a little grease. So now that we've got the front lower control arm set up, we gotta start ripping apart the Daytona. So I'm ready. I'm ready. We're not ready. You ready? Let's do it. Well, let's do it. All right. So, got the truck jacked up, got some jack stands underneath. Safety first, those brakes still looking nice and new. Looking real nice. All right, so we're gonna work on one side at a time. I do have the shocks, they're over there in the box. Uh, what we're gonna do is take apart this lower control arm. Got two bolts on each side. And of course, you've got the ball joint on the bottom. And I wanna show you guys how bad these ball joints are. And the only reason I put off replacing them is because the DJM drop kit comes with new lower ball joints. So I didn't want to spend the money twice and just do it once when I replace the lower control arms. So we're gonna start out by taking some of this stuff apart. So let's get to it. guys quick update i think we've been working for like 20 minutes about 20 minutes and here's what we got done we took out the lower control arm and let me say this right now there's probably a better way to do it but so far this has been quick and it's been pretty easy by taking apart the lower control arm what we did was we took apart the uh, rack and pinion the tie rod end we took that out first you got to take apart both sway bar end links at the same time so you can flip the sway bar up and down. We removed the bottom bolt to the lower ball joint. Then we removed the back two bolts holding the lower control arm together. And then once that fell back, we just twisted this around so we can hit the lower uh, ball joint uh, with the uh, hammer. And it came right out. And once you do drop the lower control arm towards the rear, uh, the shock will come loose and the spring will come loose. So. Let me show you guys this real quick. So this is the old uh, lower control arm. As you can see, it's big, it's heavy. Coming over here, it'll be quick, really easy to tell where everything goes. This is the new end link with the poly bushings. That's gonna go right here. And the shock is gonna go right here. And this is where the old shock was right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start looking at where the shocks and everything go so I can pre-position everything and then we'll start throwing this stuff back in. Also make note, you want to make sure you got the right control arm. This one's for the passenger and you can tell by the way it's orientated, it goes to the other side. So let's go ahead and open up the shocks and then uh, start mounting these up. All right, cool. Now which one's with the front? These are nice. Oh, that's gonna make it easy to install. Yeah, they're already pressed. So what we got here? Thank you for selecting to choose. Okay. That just says to install them right. Yeah. yeah. 
You'll probably have to look at the part number. So that's it. So yeah, yeah, it's front and rear. Well, this is definitely the front. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. Well, these two. Yeah, this exactly. is the obvious giveaway. Because this goes right here. Yep. So yeah, you remove this. No, no. No, no, you're right. Oh yeah, you have to. And this is the top hat, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah. So, alright, let's What's that, that bottom bar there for? Just all those bolts in? Oh, it might be, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure what these are for just yet. It looks like the... Like the piece that goes in here, right? Yeah, maybe you take that piece out and put... Leave this one in. Oh, you know what? Take this piece out, put the bolts to the bottom. Yeah, so you think this piece just comes out? Yeah, let's try that real quick. All right, so while Ty's putting on the sway bar end link on the passenger side control arm, or is it this one? I lied. The driver's side control arm. We did get the shock on. Pretty simple stuff. Um, yep, that's it. Just like that. Shocks are looking nice. Getting this thing put together. It's looking real nice. Also, just the bottom one goes on because the swear bar goes on top. Yep. Heck yeah. Dude, we're like 25% done. There you go. All right, now we just gotta carry this thing over there and get to work. Stick them on. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off now. The other one goes on top. So we're gonna put the control arm in just like this, and then this will go on top. The hat will go back on top, and then the two nuts, and we'll call that a day. All right, I'm ready when you are. Sure. All right, so Ty is grinding out the passenger side right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this together just so we can speed up the process because we still gotta lower the rear of the truck as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. quick I put the spring back on the new uh, DJM lower control arm there's actually a notch where the bottom of the spring will sit uh, it's very important that you have your spring orientated that way so look hold on let me flip this camera so if you look you can spin the spring right well, there's actually a little pocket that I'm going to show you on the other one I want it to sit all the way just like that where it doesn't spin anymore. Now that pocket is this right here. So your spring will spin, 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 and once it hits that, that's how you know it's seated correctly before you continue putting everything back together. Because the last thing you want is your spring not to be seated correctly and it starts making a bunch of noise. Somebody been working. Yeah, yeah. All right, got both sides done. We wasted a little time looking for a nut that we already had. That was my fault. <laughs> All right, go back over to this side. See, everything's nice, nice and buttoned up. Beltec Street shocks, looking real nice. Brake rotors and pads, everything's looking real good. So now the moment or two. I mean, clearly it sits up a lot higher. So I think we're gonna get a nice little drop out of it. So, about to put the front wheels and tires back on. You want to go straighten your wheel? Huh? You want to straighten your wheel? Is it, is it cricket? Yeah. You want to move those tire rods. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're locked. You're good. Wait, how turned is my wheel? 
Well, it wasn't turned that bad. No, it's not bad. There you go. All right. So, let's uh, put these wheels and tires on, and then a moment or two, let's see how low we go. Pull that, Jack. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was tight. Gotta probably help out here. All right, let's get to work. Lower this thing. As you can see, no jack stand, and this is completely off the ground. So let's see. All right. Oh, oh. It's not quite working, huh? Okay. It's just jacking up in the middle. Is it, you know, level? No, it's teeter tottering on the jack. Yeah. Well, it's because you're not picked up higher in the center right there now. That's what I was saying. There we go. It's scary stuff with trucks. All right, moment of truth. Oh. <laughs> What's it looking like? That's pretty low. Damn, dude, it dropped apart a bit. <laughs> oh, dude, at least the tires aren't touching. That's the only thing I was really worried about. No, we're oh, good. Dude that's, dude, that's a huge difference. Yeah, that's a big difference. Dude, it makes the stock wheels look good. Oh, yeah. So, real quick, we took, like, what, an extra 30 minutes? Yeah. Because dude, we're filthy. Uh, with the truck up in the air, we put the wheels and tires on, and they were straight up like this. So, yeah. it looked like we are about to go drifting in this thing. Uh, so it's, if you do this, you are going to need an alignment, like without a doubt. Yeah, well, you'll need to ad yeah adjust before you get an alignment. Oh yeah, there's no way we could have driven it to an alignment rack or anything the way it was. No. So we just eyeballed it. I tied up the tie rod ends, and Ty looked at it, and he told me when they were about yeah. good enough. Yeah, you have to loosen them and then spin them yeah. one direction to bring them in or out. So, so we did that. It looks drivable. It looks low. We're halfway done. I think we're... we're kind of digging it, man. Yep, I think so. I think it's going to look good. Yeah, yeah I mean... It that is, is not... About three finger. So, you know... But you got a mean ass right now. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, if you leave it like that. So, we're going to wash up real quick. I'm going to pull the truck out, show what it looks like from the side, outside of the garage. And uh, I think it's going to wrap up today's video. Tomorrow's video, or the next video, is going to be doing the rear, which is going to be a lot more complicated. So let's wash up. Almost scraped. You're tucking. We were too far off with our alignment. Yeah, that looks a lot. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this portion of lowering the Daytona. So we finished the front kit. wasn't too bad. That was not bad. I mean, it was. I mean, with searching for a nut that we had in our hand, it was <laughs> like two hours. Yeah, and don't thing. don't mind us. You got a black mark on your face. Oh, yeah. I can see I got dirt on my face. Uh, but that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys like these videos, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Ah.